right, here's the Armenian Afan Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashev fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. Eventually, you gotta fight him. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion here tonight. So tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makashev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well. And puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny, puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded. He's so skilled. He's so gifted. And he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Akashev, and we will probably have a photo shoot later if things are interesting to see how it goes from Akashev tonight. the date for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Armin Ahakalakis Darukian. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Islam Makachev! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him versus his god. And you know, he still have a problem out of his head. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Makashev's in half court. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. We have crossed the midpoint here. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. 
No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Sauerkraut is able to flatten him out now. This could be real trouble now. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. He's got to be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Making all these shots count. Sauron has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Oh, big shots from the top. Now he's going full mode. Final seconds of the round. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, second round underway. Switch kick to the body by Sarukyan. Trying to set up the straight left, but he missed. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side pull. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, DC, perhaps this will be the round in which the wrestler actually goes for a takedown. He's not even fainting shots thus far. It's crazy because the takedown set up the striking. He is limiting himself in his approach because he's not using a skill that he's become known for. Now he gets a more dominant position. I mean, technically, this would be a flying triangle if he can finish it. A fly oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Lands with the ground and pound. All right, side control now. He let him step over to the crucifix. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Sawuki. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was oh, he really well. Holy smokes! Take a bow, young man. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after. <laughs> All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Armin Ahakalakas Tarukian! Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? You're crying? <laughs>